In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top 10 trending ideas for small business. Some you might have heard of before, but sometimes people are, are habitual of just wanting to find the next thing or ideas. And what's really important is that you're implementing and you're executing in your business. So the number one is customer surveys. And this may sound simple, but have you done it? You also can use your Google reviews, your Trustpilot reviews, or whatever review platform it is that you're using. Those negative reviews, a lot of times business owners take it to heart, but those are really great learning ideas or areas that you can focus on and make changes in your business to keep your customers happy. Don't be afraid to change and maybe implement products and services that you never even thought about um, if your customers are asking for it. Adding additional products and services in your business are actually a really, a really great thing. Number two is auditing your operation and your operational functions. Go through your business as an employee. Are there things that you can eliminate and get rid of? Sometimes you wind up just doing, picking up things over the years and you're like, why are we doing this this way? And people say, well, that's the way we've always done it. If you're able to streamline things and take away silly busy work or unnecessary things, then you can take your really smart people in your office and put them on things where their time is just better used. Another thing is walk through your business as a customer. You might be surprised about some things that you might pick up. Maybe it's little details that you don't like. Maybe it's visually the way things look. It's something that's just a really good idea. You, you get wrapped up in your business, you get tunnel vision. So walk through your business as a customer like it's the first time and you'd be surprised how many things that you'd actually see that you don't see normally in your day to day. Number three is car charging stations. So at first I thought this was stupid. <laughs> I really stopped for a second. I thought about it. Number one could be a really cool value add for your employees, which is always important and good for your culture. But the second thing is if you're a retail location or even a doctor's office or a restaurant, especially where people are coming and they're going to be in your business for 20, 30 minutes, a half an hour, two hours. It might be a really cool little feature that you're doing that's different from the business owner down the road and maybe people decide to come to your location over your competition that might be right down the block to charge their car. So maybe be the innovator and get ahead of the curve on that one. Number four, customer loyalty programs. Reward your great customers. The customers that keep coming back do something. Number five, tracking industry trends. You know, this may sound like, all right, great, track the industry trends. I get emails. I know what's going on in my industry, but do you really dive deep and track and look into what other people are doing in the industry? If you're one of the little guys on the block or you're just getting started, pay attention to the big guys, the good guys. It's actually an easy way that you can figure out some new ideas and fresh ideas for your business and limit maybe the amount of money that you have to spend trying to test and do things on your own. Number six is focus on building your culture. I talk about this all the time and I won't stop talking about this. You know, there's never a one fix, a one solve all to just build culture. There's not one thing that you're gonna do that's just gonna change the culture in your business. It's a commitment and it never ends. Number seven is finding your social media personality. Everyone is utilizing social media for their business. It's a way to cast a very large net and get out there. You also can utilize social media as an inexpensive way to market where you can showcase your business, what's going on, do a simple video, speak and talk to your customers, post pictures about your employees or what's going on inside the business. People love to see that and other employees that might wanna work at your business will love to see it too. So get on social media and make it happen. Number eight, which is one of my favorites, saving on taxes using section 179 for depreciation. The government now allows you to write off and depreciate equipment, all of it in year one. Speak to your accountant about this or your tax advisor and confirm this, but now you can purchase a piece of equipment and depreciate the whole thing the first year. Usually you did this over a period of years, either five, seven, 10, or 20, depending on the piece of equipment. Now you can do it year one and pick up an awesome write-off. Look into that one, that one's a good one. Number nine, expanding products or services. Simply pick up the phone and speak to your customers, or speak to them in person if they're coming into your business. There might be other products or services that they really want that you can offer and now bring an additional revenue stream that maybe you weren't thinking about. Number 10, exploring and utilizing low cost marketing channels. If you're not utilizing email or social media, these things are basically free. Some of these email platforms, what they charge per month is a joke. They, they honestly should charge more. Utilize these low cost things to get yourself out there, to get your business out there and drive more customers into your business. I hope you enjoyed this video, these tip tricks and trends. Did anything resonate with you? You know, make a light bulb go off. Make sure you comment below and let's talk about that. If you have any questions about anything, also drop a comment below and I'd love to reply back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk soon. I wish you nothing but success.